Pershing era il nome di un Pershing was the name of a general in the Marines. Then it was the name of a missile. But when this company chose it as their name, it wasn't meant to be aggressive in any way. Really, they chose it to represent the human desire to reach ever more ambitious goals. Per capire cosa rappresenta Pershing per molti appassionati di nautica, basta guardare. To help understand what Pershing means to many sailing enthusiasts, you just need to look at this supercar. Gorgeous, really fast. It's capable of whipping up all sorts of emotions while we watch and imagine what it would be like to drive it. Well, all those sensations are the same ones that Pershing conjures up. A boat's worth can't be judged through performance and beauty alone, though. They're just part of it. To decide whether you're going to buy a marvel like this, which costs a million euros, we're going to need to go more into it, see and understand how they are built. This is Mondolfo's production site in La Marche. It covers 53,000 square meters and there are about 300 people who work here. But we know that there are a lot more people working within the Ferretti Group who collaborate on design and engineering for these models. Qui e nello stabilimento di Ancona producono yacht e super yacht. Yachts and super yachts are produced here and in the Ancona plant, from the 5X, a 54-footer, to the 140-footer. That's over 43 meters long, and they're not finished yet, as they're working on even bigger boats. The propulsion systems of these yachts can reach over 10,000 horsepower with diesel engines, or by using turbines that are over 5,000 horsepower and linked to hydrojet propulsion. It's very difficult to build a yacht so big and so fast. There's an incredible effort to put into higher performance, even just to gain one more knot of speed. What I mean to say is that increasing the speed of a boat from 45 to 46 knots is much more difficult than going from, say, 25 to 26 knots. Special performance requires special transmission systems, incredible efficiency, low resistance, great durability. That's why they use surface propulsion. These are from Top System and have an automatic control system from the transmission axes and intruders. Because at certain speed the water is harder to get through, the hull gets stressed a lot. That is why special methods and materials are needed. For example, high-quality vacuum infusion epoxy resin, which is more difficult to work, but incredibly light and durable. There's another problem, though. Weight. If you want to go fast, you need to be lightweight. Not just that, though. The barry center, and where it is exactly, determines how stable the boat is on water more so than on land, and how safe you are even when you're going fast and the sea is rough. Per risolvere questi problemi hanno utilizzato la più avanzata tecnologia oggi disponibile. To resolve these problems, they've used the most advanced technology available today, creating enormous carbon molds for bridges and superstructures. The biggest models can be both steel and aluminium to get that perfect lightweight durability.
Questa supercar ha alcuni elementi di carbonio e 500... This 575 horsepower supercar contains some carbon elements. These yachts have thousands of horsepower and the whole superstructure is carbon. So you can understand why the costs are so high, no? Exorbitant, yes, but justified. And then you have to move on to the furnishings and tech systems. Okay, so imagine what would happen to your walls and furniture, everything, if there was an earthquake, depending on the intensity and how long it goes on for. It could destroy everything. A yacht like this one, going 50 knots, is technically experiencing an infinite number of earthquakes. A captain needs to bear this in mind and watch the speed, but the boat builder also needs to make sure that every single element of the boat is installed perfectly, so building experience is fundamental and Pershing have been building yachts like this for 35 years. And after substance comes beauty. The interiors here get some of their personality from the owner. The exterior lines are designed by the unstoppable artistic and technical vision of Fulvio de Simoni. The painting unit spread out over 500 meters squared and is equipped with state-of-the-art systems. It's one of the biggest structures of its type in Europe. The facility is pressurized and heated to lower the incidence of any knocks or scratches. There shouldn't ever be a drop of water inside the boat, not only throughout the hull, but on the bridge either. Let me just highlight here that Pershing has directed some of their partner companies towards researching and producing special components. Daring sometimes in their forms, in their techniques, literally dreamed up by designers from nothing, truly creative. Both the boatyard and suppliers together have reached a very high level of quality, technique and style. Oggi Pershing è fedele alle sue origini e alla sua storia, nel corso della quale... Today Pershing is faithful to its origins and to its history, a history in which it has built 1,200 yachts and continues to build boats that are not just super fast, not just luxurious or amongst the other technologically advanced. Instead, it brings all these qualities together in this unique yacht.